But you guys got another video here for you. If you need Windows 11 24H2 now, then change this Windows update setting to be able to pull uh, Windows 11 24H2 down on your system. You can see here we're running 23H2, but a lot of people complain that they are not receiving the 24H2 update through the Windows update panel. And the reason for this is because Microsoft are rolling this update out to certain people that can receive the update and run it on their system first. So if you're one of these people that can't wait and you want to be able to force Windows updates to pull down certain particular updates like 24H2, then this is the method you can do. So I'll show you here. What you need to do first is update your operating system. Make sure you've got all of the updates received for that operating system and there's no more available. Once you've done that, you can restart the system and get back to the desktop and then we can move on to the next step, which is what you'll need to do to be able to receive the 24H2 update and you can force it down. Now, the reason why I don't advise people to do this is because there has been some issues with this update. Some people are having no issues whatsoever, but there is the odd issue where some people are having blue screen of death because of Western Digital types of drives like the black drive, it's causing a, a blue screen of death. There's some other reasons why you might not want to download this. You can always check the Microsoft's website for known issues for 24H2. So what we're going to do here now is we've gone back into the Windows Update panel and we're going to make sure it says you are up to date. So if you see this and you have to get the latest updates checkmarked on that screen, what you need to do is move on to the next step. We're going to open up the Group Policy Editor by typing GP edit and this will open up the group policy editor so we can edit uh, some of the policies here. Now remember I showed you how to do this the other day but this is also how you can use this tool to be able to uh, force updates from Microsoft. So go to computer configuration, administrative templates and then Windows components. Once we're inside here we want to go down to Windows update right here, click on this one here and I want to open this up so I can see what is available. Let me just stretch this out here so you can see properly. What we're interested in here is manage updates offered from Windows updates. Now, I did make a video showing you how to use this and set this up, but you would use this to basically force the 24H2 to come down. So let me go ahead and double click on this. And what you want to do is click enable here and you want to give it an operating system, for instance, Windows 11, because we're on Windows 11. And what we want to do here is do the targeted version for feature updates. And this is where you would now put 24H2 in here. Once we've done that, we can apply this and click OK. And you would then be able to restart the PC and you should then start to see the 24H2 update come down on your system. Now, what about if you're on Windows 11 Home? This is for Windows 11 Pro and above, but if you're on the home version, you would need to go into the registry edit. So let's go registry editor, and by typing reg edit, and click open the registry editor here. So from here, we're gonna need to create some keys. Now I did show you how to do this also in the video the other day, but we're gonna be using this to now force the 24H2 to come down. So go to H key local machine, software, policies, Microsoft, and then we're going to pull this down to go to Windows. Inside Windows, we want to go to uh, down here where we're going to go to Windows Update. So here we can see Windows Update inside Windows. Go to Windows Update, open this up, and on the right hand panel, we're going to need to create some registry keys. So we're going to right click on here and go New, and we're going to go String Value. And on this one, what we want to do is type Product Version. Just as you see here, it does need to have the capital letters in it. And once we've got this done, what we can do is double click on product version and we're gonna give this a name inside the value data. We're gonna say Windows 11. So let's go ahead and type this out and click OK. That's now done. And what we need to do now is create another key and this one's gonna be a D word 32 bit value key. So let's go ahead and create that. We need to give it a name, so we're going to call this Target Release Version, just like so. And it needs to have the capital letters in there. So once we've given this 
the uh, target release version. We need to change the data value here. So we're going to expand this about here and double click on it and give it the value data of one. So click OK. We've got one more key to add, and this is another string value key. So let's go ahead and go new string value. And once we've got this one done, we need to do again, target release version and then info like so. And once we've got this, we need to go into that uh, key and we're going to give it a name inside the value data here called 24H2. Once you've done this, you will re restart your PC and we'll go back into the Windows updates and you'll probably see that the 24H2 uh, release will be able to come down. So let's go ahead and restart our PC here. I'm going to go ahead and click restart. And once that's done, we'll get back to the desktop and we'll go back into the Windows Update panel. So what this will do is this is telling uh, the Microsoft Update servers that we are wanting to receive 24H2. And because it's available, they will force this down to your system. So let's go ahead and check for updates. And hopefully when we run this, you will see the 24H2 suddenly come down just like so. So there we go. Windows 11 24H2 is now downloading and we can then go ahead and install that on the system. Personally, I wouldn't do this method. I would wait until Microsoft send you the Windows 11 24H2 to your computer. That way you can be assured that it's going to go through and install properly without having any issues like blue screens or crashing or any other issue that might be happening with Windows 11 24H2. This is where the data collection comes in. They will know basically that your hardware has a particular piece of hardware that doesn't play well with the Windows 11 version 24H2. But you can also use the Windows 11 Assistant uh, for getting 24H2. As you can see, 24H2 is available to a lot of people that can install 24H2 without any issues. But if you're one of those people like myself that's going to have an issue with it, they will hold off and pause this update for you. And that's why on my main system, I'm still on 23H2 and they haven't offered me the 24H2 update because of some issues that my PC will have with that update. Until Microsoft fix those, it will be paused on Microsoft's end. What you're doing here is basically forcing the update to come down and this could cause you a few problems. So bear in mind, if you do do this on your system, make sure that your system is compatible and you're not going to have any issues with it because it might cause more problems than it's worth. Anyway, that's basically how you can force any sort of Windows update to come down inside your Windows PC by using that method right here. And you can see now it's installing. This is all happening on a virtual machine. So it's not happening on a real PC. I would never do this on my main system. I'm staying on 23H2 for a little bit longer because you have up until 2026 before the 23H2 becomes end of life. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.